Peace and light to the old guy. Australia, like, share, subscribe, Instagram and YouTube and hit the notification button. You'll know when I'm doing a video. It's been a while since I did my last one. Now, I apologise for that, but I've had really badly infected sinuses. I normally do a Easter message and this time around, um, you know, I hadn't been using my Neil Med, I hadn't been rinsing my nose and I got an infection and uh, so I was feeling a bit uh, worse for wear. So what I did was I got a memory that came up on Facebook and I then cut and pasted it and I polished it up, shoved it on my page and posted it and thought nothing of it. Well, well, well. So a lot of people began discussing things on that post and um, my inbox <laughs> was inundated with messages from Christians, from atheists, from who knows what. And so I had this tremendous amount of messages that I had to try to get through on top of all my other messages to try to get through and uh, answer. And some of them required numerous messages because of a bit of back and forth and discussion on issues. And of course, as you may understand, <clears throat> A uh, number of those messages uh, related to doctrinal issues uh, and theological interpretation. So, now, if you're not a Christian, it doesn't make any difference to me. It's not a problem. But if you listen to me, you'll hear what i got to say. And believe me, I hope it was worth it when you get to the end. So, <clears throat> here's what happened. Now that I'm feeling better, I've tried to do this message a couple of times, and it has been quite difficult. But I've decided to stay and do it. And I'm going to have a crack at it, right? So, here's how it goes. So I put this message out there. You can see it on my, on my Facebook page. That's not a problem. But the problem really stemmed from the fact that I made a couple of uh, statements on there which I particularly relate to. And uh, some people got a little bit uh, nose out of joint about those statements that I made. So because it was the particular post it was, it was Easter, then a lot of people, particularly around this time, or Christmas for that matter, get all up in arms, you know, and they're, they're discussing things about, uh, you know, pagan worship and rituals, rituals and all sorts of crap, you know. So there's a lot of religions in the world, tremendous amount of religions, and they have sub-branches and various break-offs, spin-offs and whatever. And they all have one thing in common. They believe they have the absolute truth. Not a truth, the truth. They believe they have the truth. And many of them, if not most, believe that they have the divine truth. The divine truth. They've been shown the truth by God. Now, where this gets really fascinating for me is that uh, I have a tendency to think some of them have got to be wrong. I mean, they've just got to be. You can't all be right because you all believe different things. So, you know... So I had to kind of melt all that away, peel all the layers off that, get rid of it all, and get down to the heart of the matter. And the heart is what I really wanted to talk about, because in the Bible, Jesus is love. He's that side of God. He is love. Jesus is love. Mind you, he gave him a flogging in the fucking temple when he got in there and uh, kicked the tables over and called them a brood of vipers, which, by the way, is like a pack of... F and C's. Let me tell you, that was bad language in those days. That was like, whoo, Jesus. And then he started flogging them with a, he had a whip and he was whacking them with a bloody stick and kicking their tables over. He went berserk. Happy days. I like the guy. Now, <laughs> the problem is this. Yeah, the problem is this. So many of these particular branches of Christendom have dogma. A dogma is like dog shit. It sticks to you. <laughs> That's what it's like. It's, it's shit that you believe in so hard and so hardly fast that you cannot get past it. It's, ah, it's got to have that in it. And so some people won't drink tea or coffee. Ah, oh, that's not godly. You know, it's an invasion of the temple, the holy temple. <coughs> some people don't uh, celebrate birthdays. Some don't celebrate Christmas. Some don't celebrate Easter. And then we have, uh, oh, Christmas is a pagan holiday. Well, maybe there was a time when when the uh, people over in bloody Europe somewhere, you know, got drunk, pissed as nits, set fire to a few pine trees, danced around drunk and had a woogies. I don't know. We're told this was the case in some places. Good on them. Happy days. Probably not a fucking lot to do back then. No Netflix. You get to uh, Easter and it's a, uh, you know, oh my God, it's like, it's like, it's the uh, God, I see, or whatever, some freaking thing. 
And that's where the eggs come from. And Christians go, oh no, the egg represents the tomb and it's empty, you know, and that's because Jesus is risen. Oh look, I don't know. I'm not interested. You know, this is the problem. When Moses went up the fucking mountain and he came back with these tablets and had ten commandments on it. How many did it have? Fucking ten. And that tells me the Jews then formed the committee. Thanks, Moses. Give us the tablets. Went away, formed the committee. A couple of months later, popped up. 10,000 commandments. Well, what do I do? You're not allowed to work on the Sabbath. Well, what's work? What if, my, uh, what if I'm dragging a stick and it's making an indentation in the ground? Is that ploughing the field? Well, you'll find the answer to that in, uh, in uh, paragraph 17, subsection 6, article IE. You know, this kind of crap. I'm like, I could see Jesus, you know, I could see God just going, what the fuck? I gave you ten freaking ten. What have you done? Typical humanity. You're screwing up and make it harder than it's meant to be. So, this isn't going to go down well with a lot of people. And there you go, chew on my boot. So back to Jesus' love. So I think, well, what's a common denominator amongst all these religions and all these subsects and sects and whatever else? Love. Love. So I related the parable, which I'm going to bore you with, and I'll do it in an Australian way. Now, that may offend some of you, so just let me know if you want to hit the fucking pause button or the stop button or the get out button. You might want to do it now because I'm going to do it in an Australian way, the way I would tell it at the pub after half a dozen beers to some blokes who are non-believers and I wanted to tell them about the tax collector. And here's how it goes. You ready? This is from the um, BOAV Bible. The big O Australian version. <laughs> so here's how it goes, right? So we got this guy, right? He's a Jew. And he, his job is to collect taxes from the Jews to give to the Romans. Now, it's a job. It doesn't matter. <coughs> it doesn't matter if uh, Fleetwood Mac are playing in town. Some poor schmuck's got to clean the dunnies, right? So this guy's got a job. His job is to collect money off the Jews as taxes and give it to the Romans. And the fucking Jews hate him. They hate his guts. Right now, the Romans don't mind that he collects his taxes for them. Someone's got to do it. It's got to be a Jew. But they think he's a joke because they know the Jews hate him and they don't really like him because he's a freaking Jew. So they mock him and smear him and deride him. and yeah, you know, To this guy, it's a fucking job. I've got to have a job. Someone's got to do it. That's what I'm doing. Now... Somewhere around the traps, he's working away. And someone tells him about this guy, Jesus. He's got this crowds following him, and he's making, doing miracles, healing people, doing all sorts of shit. And he's like, what? He goes, yeah, yeah, it's happening. He goes, really? Yeah, down the bloody town square. You want to go down and check it out? He goes, I think I'll fucking do that. So he pops down the next day, just prior to lunch. <coughs> and he goes down there, and it is fucking packed. Standing room only. You know, Jesus is up there somewhere. You can't see him. It's fucking hot. It's dusty. There's, everyone's yelling, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yelling, it's, it's a fucking nightmare. So he can't see anything. He don't know what's going on. And he just goes, oh, fuck this. Oh, sees a tree. So he climbs up this tree, right? And he gets a good look, and he's up there going, man, I can see what's going on. He's watching away, and he's going, ooh, this guy's a real shit. This guy is the real deal. Look what he's doing. Holy crap, it's going on. Now, meanwhile, Jesus is down in the mosh pit, and he's there, and he's going, oh, fuck. And he says to the disciples, look, I've had a gut for me. I'm really hungry, and I'm, I'm hot, I'm thirsty, I'm tired. I've got to get out of here. I've got to have a break, mate. And they go, where are you going to go? And he's going, I'm going for lunch. And he goes, well, where are you going to go for lunch? He goes, um, and he turns around, and he looks straight at the tax collector, who's up the tree. And he goes, I'm going to his place. And they're like, what the fuck, dude? No, 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 you can't go there. And he goes, why? Because that guy's a fucking tax collector. You can't go there, right? Everybody hates his guts. And he goes, eh, whatever. <coughs> so he turns to the tax collector and he goes, dude, get out of the fucking tree. We're going to your place for lunch. And the tax collector goes, no way, buddy, no way. And he goes, why not? And he goes, you can't come to my place, man. I'm the tax collector. They hate my guts. Trust me, no street cred. You come here tomorrow, there'll be 10 people and a donkey. It'll be all over. Right? It'll be all over. Show done. What? There'll be nobody here. He goes, oh, I'm telling you, I'm coming to your place. And the disciples are going, well, didn't you hear what he said? You, you can't go to his house. You know who he is. And he goes, you know what he does? 
He goes, I don't give a shit what he does. I'm not looking at what he does. I'm not judging him for what he does. I'll tell you what I can see. <coughs> the guy's got a good heart. And I said, that's the gospel right there and then. That's it. See, God judges a heart. He doesn't care if you drink tea or coffee. Although there's some religion will say, that's not true. You're not allowed to drink tea or coffee. He doesn't care if you celebrate a birthday, particularly if you have friends around, particularly Christian friends, because where two or more are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. So, you know, but there are religions that will say, that's not true. And he doesn't care if you have Christmas and you pick a day and you go, well, we're going to celebrate the birth of Christ. Happy days. Okay, it's not his birthday. Eh, he wasn't born this time of year and he wasn't blah, 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 blah. Whatever. We picked the day. We're all going to celebrate. We're celebrating you, buddy. And it's on this day. Yep, happy days with that. And this is the day you got killed and this is the day you rose. We're going to celebrate that. It's not the exact days, but you know what? We've got to pick a day and it's got to fit in with the school holidays and the fucking kids. And this is what it is. Now, those that follow dogma or dog shit and have it stuck all over them and insist that this is not God, these are the ones who will tell you when Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. Whosoever opens that door, I shall enter and I will never leave. With them, they go, that's true, uh, but it's salvation plus. Salvation plus. Uh, uh, that's dependent on whether or not you follow these things. Because if you follow these things, God's going to make your guts. You're going to, you probably lose your salvation if you go down this road. Or maybe you'll just get a basement suite. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I know what God hates. Hypocrisy. That's what he hates. You know? And when these religions only burn around five minutes, yeah, maybe a hundred years, and they're throwing their weight around like they know everything. Not happening. It's just not happening. So this is why when I became a Christian and went to church, <clears throat> I did everything they told me to do. Got my hair cut, wore suits, did this, did that, did theology, blah, 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 blah. And I never fitted in, you know. I've just never fitted in. I couldn't figure out why. But the answer was really obvious. It's in the Bible. It says <coughs> that the hand, well, I'm paraphrasing here. It doesn't say this, but I'm saying it. It basically says the hand's no better than the foot and the eye no better than the ear. They're all parts of one body with different functions, right? That's it. And what's one of the most important parts of the body? The butthole. Because if you don't eat, you don't poo. If you don't poo, you die. So the butthole is really important. The toilet cleaner. You know, they're important parts of the body. But they're all different. And I was trying to be an eye when I was just a butthole. You know? I just sort of stuck being a butthole and I was all right. Which is why I swear and I have a drink. And I'm not worried about it because God knows my heart. That's it. God knows my heart. You don't. So don't judge me. You, you can say what you want. Oh, you call yourself a Christian. You swear like a trooper. I do. I do. And I love it. I love it. Roundly. And I think Jesus swore too. Oh, my God, he did not. Yeah, he did. Oh, he did. And he got pretty violent with those boys in the temple there. I'm just saying. And that's just one instance that we got that's recorded. There could have been others. Who knows? Anyway. That's the cat among the pigeons. That's why my inbox is full. And I'm like, well, I can't answer all these, but I'll get back to as many as I can. So I'm hoping I've done this video, and maybe you'll watch that, and you'll get your answers. And if you didn't, bad luck. There's nothing I can do about it. That's how I view this. Now, I'm happy to stand by my own words. So, uh, you know, people can think what they want of me. They don't think good of me. That's good. They think good of me. That's great. It's not an issue. But just remember, love. Put aside all that crap, because we're heading into hell. <coughs> right here on earth, we're heading into a hell, a hellish time. And we're going to need each other, big time, right? You can't do that when there's division. You understand that? You can't do it when there's division. You have to be united. And they want to keep us apart. And that's what religion does. Peace and light that old guy Australia. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification button. And we'll catch you soon.